Hi and welcome to this design proposal. Uh, the goal of this project is to migrate the current SCCM 2007 environment to a new SCCM 2012 Release 2 base solution. Due to the changes introduced in SCCM 2012, my recommendation will be to do a side-by-side -side deployment. The new environment will be based on Windows 2012 servers and SQL 2012 and of course MS Configuration Manager 2012 Release 2. Design phase. Tasks and activities in this phase of the project include network connectivity requirements. This includes the bandwidth and the speed for each location. The AD site configuration and the hardware and storage requirements. Prepare phase. The following represents the tasks associated with this phase. These include the installation of the OS, the database for the on the SQL server, which could be on the local E drive or could be on a member server, the uh, AD schema extension, also the user account, which will be used as the SSCM service account. The secondary sites. This includes um, the consideration whether the those secondary sites will also be acting as distribution points. Configuring the bandwidth limits on the send connectors between servers. And for the distribution points, this includes the throttling and scheduling per distribution point, also creating distribution point groups. WUS involves the installation of and configuration of the WUS uh, service and integrating it with SCCM 2012 and software update point to point to the new WUS. Migration execute phase. The objective of this phase is to configure and test the new SCCM 2012 environment. The tasks include the following. Boundary based on AD sites or network scan. User groups and system device discovery. Device and user collections. Packages and program deployments. Application deployments. App V deployments. And last but not the least, the the, the migration or the creation of reporting points to the SQL reporting service on the primary site server. These are the key server and site components required for the different locations. For the primary site server, among the site server roles, we're going to have a management point, the distribution point, fallback points, and out of band uh, service, service points. The Windows requirements is Windows 2012 Release 2 and the location will be HQ. In our case, it's going to be London. For the WUS, we will have the software update points configured as a site server role and, and the server will also be based in HQ. We're going to have different distribution points which will be for the satellite offices. And that leaves us with a secondary site server which could be a distribution point that has been upgraded due to poor network connectivity. This is the AD site configuration which will be used to configure boundaries and distribution points for the content location. We're going to have the London AD site, Dubai AD site, New York AD site and last but not the least the Singapore AD site. The London and the Dubai AD sites will use the primary site server for content location while the New York AD site will have its own distribution point. Likewise the Singapore AD site will have its own distribution point. If we notice poor network performance, we can put a distribution point in the Dubai office. Likewise, we can upgrade the distribution point in Singapore to a secondary site server. So we could end up with a configuration where we have the Dubai AD site pointing to its local distribution point, the London AD site uh, pointing to the local primary site server, while the New York AD site will be pointing to the New York distribution point, and Singapore will be pointing to a Singapore secondary site server. In other words, in the Configuration Manager, we can configure all these AD sites to point to their local distribution points for contents. Likewise, we can configure them to point to the primary site server as a slow configuration if the local uh, distribution point is unavailable. All remote satellite sites will be added to VPN boundaries and directed to the nearest distribution point for content. So, for MENA, we're going to have Qatar and Oman. Uh, for EMEA, we'll have Spain and France. For NALA, we'll have Baltimore and Montreal. And last but not the least, for APAC, we'll have the Philippines and Australia. If we notice poor network performance at any of these satellite sites, we can put a distribution point in any of the remote offices with or without branch cache enabled. 
say for example in Spain we could put a, a Windows 10 device or a, a Windows 2012 release 2 branch ca cache enabled uh, server likewise for Baltimore and for Australia for home workers and road warriors like sales and business consultants we can provide them with access to the content via internet facing distribution points so we'll have the DMZ zone and have a couple of off-premises DPs in the zone so when a sales or home worker does a machine retrieval for the policy it will contact the management point either on the London primary site server or in the case of Singapore in the upgraded um, secondary site server alternatively we can reduce our footprint by using Microsoft's cloud solution Azure so we can get rid of these off premises DPs and have an internet facing Azure distribution point. So that is the design behind the scenes. It will all be transparent to the client workstations and this is how it will work. Okay, so we will have the London primary site server and it will connect to the SQL in data instance. This could be on the uh, an SQL installation on the E drive or on um, a data instance on a member server. So when a new device comes online, it will announce, I'm new, what is my site assignment and where can I get content? It will contact the management point which is on the London primary site server, which will send it a, the, the policy saying that I'm the site server and you need to go to the Dubai office because you are in that um, AD site. Another device can come online and say, I just flew in from Singapore. I am now in the New York office. Where can I get content? Likewise, the management point will be contacted and it will send it a policy saying, according to your AD site, it shows that you, the nearest distribution point for you is the New York distribution point. So you can go there and get content. To avoid unnecessary network traffic to the remote DPs, we will SCCM scan the network and create boundary groups, i.e. the forest discovery to scan the AD sites. Likewise, we will also do a DHCP network discovery for the remote sites. So there you have it. That's what will happen behind the scenes. Project success measures. The following points measure as indicators of the successful project. For the server deployment, the successful primary site server, secondary site server, distribution points and WUS configuration. And for the client deployment, the patch management, collection creation, application migration, and the OS deployment. So that concludes the 2012 release to migration design proposal. I hope you find it useful and um, have a nice day. Thank you.